plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Welcome to this week's plumberparts.co.uk video. And never forgetting, holler. Today we're going to have a look at how to change a push button flush unit. It's exactly the same technique that you'd have when you're changing a siphon unit, but instead of having the flush handle bit and doing that linkage at the end, you have a push button going through the top. So let's have a look at how to do that now, how to turn the water off, how to take everything out and do that. You're going to have a wicked rip roaring time as ever. And it's really, really warm today. It's June, apparently. I thought June was a winter month now. Uh, anyway, let's go. Hold tight. Right, so first things first is take off the linkage at the back and remove this bit while you're at it you might as well take off the old button then pop this piece to one side find out where the water turns off and isolate drop your screwdriver and then when we look inside here you can either lift this up a lot of them are different there's all different types or you can actually use the the pulley on here to make that flush. And just push that like that. But I'm fine, just holding that up, make sure all the water comes out. Nothing's filling up. Right, now we're ready to change. The next bit I'd do is take these two screws out here, and then these two wing nuts under here, and here, and then also remove your cold water feed. Let's get bad boo. Once you remove these, just put them to one side, you're going to need them in a minute. Unscrew these. And keep these safe as well, both of them. Now remove the feed to the system. You usually get a little bit of water come out here, and also a lot of the time there'll be a, a pressure reducing kind of insert that stops the water coming out. Let's just feel that. There isn't one in there at the moment, I don't think. Right, once you've removed these two screws here, the two wing nuts underneath and the water supply, we're ready to lift this off. There'll be a small bit of water underneath, so either pop it in the bucket or in the toilet bowl itself. After that, shut the lid of the toilet, pop a towel over the top and then lay the cistern on its back on there so you can work on it. So right, the first thing we do, now we've got it on its back, is we take these off and peel the donut off. Sometimes you can reuse them. Now these are quite good ones actually, so I should be able to reuse this. But a lot of the time if you're doing it, it pays off while you're in the shop, just to buy a replacement donut just in case. Pop this lot to one side, get yourself a whacking great set of grips, and unscrew this bit. God, this takes ages, man. Oh, here we go, right, so. Keep this clamp as well, sometimes when you buy a new donut you'll get a new clamp and new wing nuts and everything. Now as you can see here, the idiot that installed this in the first place actually put silicon around this so it's not going to be too easy to get out. Grab the unit from the inside and give it a wiggle and put it out like so. So now we've got that removed, we can unpack our new flush unit and get it ready for putting in. Alright, so opening it up, we have the flush unit itself, another donut if you want but these ones aren't very good so I don't tend to use them and the actual new push button bit. We'll do that bit last. So, remove the nut that's on the bottom here and push up your new seal so it's home on the bottom of the flush unit. All right, push it into place through the hole. Pop back on our clamp, then pop our nut on and do that up as tight as we can. Pop our donut back on over that and insert our two little bolts. Remember, there's a small square on here, on the end of these bolts, that slots inside this square here, so it doesn't twist when you try and do them up. Now we're ready to pop that in, being careful to get our bolts and everything through the holes. Now we pop our wing nuts back on and tighten them up. Once they're tightened up, pop our screws that hold it to the wall back in. And then back down here to put your feet back on and tighten that up. I always find that now is the best time to turn the water back on and just make sure that everything fills up and flushes properly before you start putting the button on. So let's do that now. <gasps> no leaks there. And filling up nicely. 
Right then now that it's filled up, I'll often just put the button on on its own and just push the button and push the flush and make sure it's all working. And then check for leaks down low. Nothing. <laughs> The next bit is so easy, your pet manatee could do it. Sometimes, if the if this piece here doesn't fit through the hole like it does on here nicely, the supplier will supply a shroud so it can sit on top, so it'll look like that. Doesn't look as good though, does it really? Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that, so we're gonna take this shroud off, chuck it away, take this little screw off here, chuck that away, pop this through the hole, we come round here, that on there just like that. Tighten that up lightly, not too much, it doesn't need to be, all you're going to be doing is that. Uh, and then after that, basically pop this on the toilet, clip this up to your wire, and you're ready to go. All done. So there you go, that's how you change a push button flush unit. Perfect for bog washing chippies, plasterers, and above all, electricians. I hope you found today's video helpful. I hope it's going to help you try and change your own flush unit if you need to. If you've got any problems with it, keep running or not flushing properly. If you need any more help, go to our website at plumberparts.co.uk, follow us on Twitter, say hi to us on Facebook, and above all, subscribe to our videos. I hope to see you very, very soon. One day, I'll be tall enough to talk to you up there. Hold tight throughout the night. plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.